Okay, today I've got a little something different to you. This is clearly not a keyboard or Linux thing or <clears throat> anything else I've ever done. Uh, this is a pair of Sony uh, MDR V6 headphones I've had for uh, probably 15 years. Um, you know, these are great headphones. I like headphones. I've got a ton of them around here I could talk about. Um, but these are some of my longest used and best liked ones. Uh, they're closed back. Um, which, eh, you know, is what it is. Uh, if you need a closed back one, like you work in an office or you're doing field monitoring, these are great. You know, they seal out a lot of sound. Um, these have been uh, um, with me. Uh, you know, I drug them around in my bag and in 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 uh, day to day use for for gosh more than a decade now. Uh, you know, the band is not so springy anymore. Um, <clears throat> please pardon me, I'm trying to record this on an old iPhone because it's the best thing I have for this kind of view. Um, my, not my normal thing to use, but hopefully it turns out okay. Um, I, you know, the pads on these uh, fall apart really easily, so I added these uh, Brainwaves pads and stuff. But here recently they've really caught the sads, and you can see here I've got some tape of shame. Um, but they are uh, starting, these wires are starting to fray and come apart. So I'm going to replace them. Um, a little known, I guess not a little known, but a little known fact about these is everything on them is basically serviceable. The head, uh, the the ear pads come off, the headbands are replaceable, the cups are replaceable, um, pretty much the drivers are replaceable, and everything. These have been the industry standard for, for years, for decades really, uh, since the 80s. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and break these down into uh, what I need to keep. I've ordered, I've got it off screen here, but I've got the spare part that I ordered from True Audio. Uh, it's been sitting on my shelf for a few weeks, and I figured I'd, I wanted to make a video about it, so I'm going to get to it. First thing we need to do is remove the ear cups pads here. These are good. I'm going to keep these. Um, these Brainwaves pads, I highly recommend. They're memory foam. Uh, they seem to last much longer than the stock ones. If you own these, you know that these stock headphone pads um, start to flake after about 18 months. Um, <clears throat> these are like 18, 20 bucks and they last a while and they're much more comfortable. So, uh, after we do that, we've exposed some screws there and we're going to remove those. So, if I've got the right driver. Uh, <laughs> nope, that is not the right size. I will be right back with that. Now, through the magic of editing, no time will pass for you, but I've gone and gotten my other screwdriver set because I wasn't sure exactly what size we needed. Um, Let's see, number one Phillips, is that it? Let's see here. Yes, okay. So, uh, number one Phillips, I'm just gonna check this into the thing here. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't know why I keep the paper in there, but I do. Um, these headphones are very modular, very repairable. I quite like that about them. Um, I have other headphones that are not so much. I've uh, recently gotten into more open back headphones since we've been working from home and I think I'm in the shot here uh, I'm kind of going with if I'm on the green mat like here I'm in the shot I can't really see yeah, yeah I'm in the shot it looks like uh, <laughs> so again this is a new setup for me so I'm trying my best here and now we're going to gently kind of separate these out okay so um, I'm going to reuse the cups on this for reasons you'll see later. So I'm not going to desolder um, the input cable here. I'm going to leave it in the strain relief and everything. I'm just going to desolder the uh, cable that goes through the headband here. And, and these are tiny little wires, so it doesn't take much. Uh, do -do -do we'll see if we can't. And uh, another warning, this is not a how-to solder video. Um, I'm very okay at soldering. I'm not great. Um, there are better tutorials out there. I'm just going to kind of, I don't have to do much with this. I just have to heat this pad up and kind of get this wire off. I think that's the right wire. Let me verify that would be good. Yeah, so these two here. So that's that one. That's the, that, that this, these two here are our, are our, um, <clears throat> The culprits to the to the uh, other headphones. So we'll just kind of heat that pad up and pull that up, maybe. Ooh, 
That is that is some hot. Hopefully I don't reduce these. Hopefully I don't reduce these headphones to their component pieces and I have to throw them in the bin. And I probably should have noted which one the red went to and which one the the um <clears throat> the copper went to, but uh, we can look at this one here as a comparison, I think. Always kind of note that stuff before you desolder it, but so I think these drivers are interchangeable. So, oh, if not, I can look it up online. Let's see. Those have been hot snotted on this one, but it's the red to this side, and the the red is on the right on this side. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to desolder these. All right, and desolder that. There we go. All right. All right, now this driver is free completely. You can see this is the red, so well, red is near the hole. Help me remember that. Uh, so this is red, and that was copper. Um, and the reason uh, why I'm keeping these cups oh, will be apparent here in a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and detach them and take that off and uh, thread this back through, pop this off, pop this off, maybe, okay, ah, whew. so there's our old headband, free as a bird, as the song says, oh, don't want to flop that around too much, <laughs> grabs it, flops it, uh, there's our, uh, there is the other driver. This is the primary one, so I'm gonna set that over here. Uh, now, this is the replacement one that I got from True Audio. Uh, they say it's a, I've covered up the address and everything. Uh, you know, well, these are far from for rectal use only, but uh, you know, you can pretend if you want. <laughs> so we're gonna undo this. I have a much smaller box opener today. I suppose the comically large one I had for the Model M video. So let's see here. Let me see if I've got my name and address LNE papers in here, and I can remove promptly remove that. Let's see. Ah, uh, come on. Oh gosh, FedEx really mangled this one. All right. So uh, I do. I'll throw that out. And let's see. Box. And a new headband, brand spanking new. Now, the reason why I'm keeping the cups, this is technically for the MDR 7506s. Um, not a big deal. Uh, the headband assembly, which is here from the old one, is basically the same. It's just the cups are different. I think the drivers on the 7506s are technically different. They're just the more modern version of the um, MDR V6. They both say made in Thailand on the headband. Uh, the headband feels like it's just a <laughs> less worn out version of my old one here. So <clears throat> we'll go ahead and, and swap these cups out. Um, but I just, you know, kind of one of those things, is I like the red. We'll say I like the red. And uh, it's, you know, it's also, it'd be lying to call these 7506s. So since I'm reusing the drivers and everything, I'm just gonna swap these over and save these cups for a later time. So I'm gonna pull that out. Ah, clunk. Uh, you can go there. The left is the one with the uh, headphone bit in it. It also means I have to do less soldering with the, uh, yeah, there we go. It took a little bit of fiddling, but I got it. Um, the left is the one with the cable in it. Uh, plus, you know, these cups have a patina to them. I think it doesn't look too bad, um, you know mix of the old and the new they also do this one also kind of has this little trick where it pops off i don't know some crazy attachment they are a little bit worn but um again you can see uh, this does masquerade it as a different model 
And that would be lying, and lying is wrong. Um, huh. Okay, neither of these are red. So, oh, no, 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 they are. It's just very faint. Okay. Uh, looks like they've pre-soldered the uh, little uh, tips on here, too. So, got a little bit of solder, so I should be able to just slap and go. Let's see. All right, thread it through. Whew, thread like a needle. Uh, this is a very fine cable. You would think that the wires inside these giant cables that they have on these things would be bigger, but they are infant. They are teeny tiny little things. So, yeah, there is that. So you cup. Insert the cup into the cup hole. Insert the other cup into the cup hole, pull the wire back out because I'm, what do you, what do you call it, an idiot? Uh, so we'll thread that back through. But um, yeah, these headphones sound all right. And um, for the price, they aren't bad. I think they still retail for about $70 new. Um, they'll last you a long time. And I really like the fact that you can still get components for it. I hate throwing things away that, uh, you know, have like one little broken thing on them, but you can't get apart. You can't really fabricate anything for it. Um, I'm a big fan of right to repair stuff. That's part of the reason why I don't really like Apple these days, uh, even though I am recording this on an old iPhone. Um, but again, it's just kind of the thing I have that can shine down on the desk this way. So, um, I guess now we will try to ascertain which direction this should go. So the red was on the hole here, and that is that one. I would guess if it's going to go red to red, that would be red, and that would be the copper, because that would line up with what's on this driver, so I'm going to do that. Give me some slack, man. But, oh yeah, these cables here are much nicer. Uh, I've not been frayed. I don't have any tape of shame on them. <laughs> that uh, that just is just embarrassing. I mean, it works for a temporary repair, but um, just kind of embarrassing. So we're going to put this on there, and this may be the wrong way. We'll see. I don't even think I have to put any solder on there. I just think I need to just, just on this pad, and there's some on this wire already, so I'm just going to heat that and see if it will join. Maybe it does need a little bit more so I don't dry join it. Let's see. So this is not a how-to solder video. I am very okay at soldering, but I wouldn't take, um, I wouldn't do it how I do it. Sometimes with the other cup, I'll go ahead and maybe pull this in so it's not in the way. I'm just gonna like, until I'm sure this is working, I'm just going to stick a, maybe just stick one screw in there just to keep it from flopping about. So we need a screw and a driver. Alrighty. But uh, yeah, if you like this kind of video, the outside of me flopping around, again, hopefully as I do this moral camera, I'll get better at it. It is just uh, very difficult to do with people. Anyone who has taught a class or done anything knows like as soon as you step in front of a group it's like oh uh, my name is uh, what? <laughs> oh gosh. That's what editing is for. I said I've never really had to do this on these before my first kind of major repair on these. And not, not bad for 15 years old. I mean how many people have headphones that are that old that still work? I do. Okay, just a screw, just to keep it from getting all in the way. Um, old cup, there it is. Okay, so that's incorrectly. As in it is installed correctly, not it is incorrectly, incorrectly. Let's see, we can do this and this. I am a bit out of practice with soldering. I did um, the last big solder thing I did was uh, <clears throat> I had a Dell AT101 uh, that I had some serious rust and other issues, so I had to desolder all of the switches and pull the plate off and everything. 
and paint it and everything. Paint it and, you know, sand it. Not in that order, but uh, you know what I mean. I had to basically disassemble it and now we're removing, quite removing all, all of the switches and cleaning them and putting them back. In hindsight, I don't know if it was worth it. It was a Dell AT101. Um, <laughs> at the end of the day, it's it was still kind of a eh, not so great a Dell Bigfoots and eh, mediocre, okay, Alps platform from the early 90s. It's not really terribly special. So that is enough solder on that. I should be able to just slap that down. Red went by the hole, and then we'll put this over here on the other side of that booger. All total, this has taken me maybe about 20, this would take me about 20 minutes if I wasn't recording, I would think. So, get some heat into that. Not too bad. If you've got a set of these, it's well worth repairing them. I don't think they even sell the V6s anymore. Um, the, like I said, the 7506, I think, is essentially the same headphone, just with some mi minor tweaks here and there. I don't think they're really that different from each other. So, um, either pair is you know, worth your money, I think. Worth the, uh, it's one of those buy it for life things. And then I ended up buying like 500 other headphones because I wanted to experience different sounds. That's the thing about headphones is it's really, having a different set of headphones is like having your favorite, and listening to the same song is like having your favorite meal, but then having it prepared by a different chef. Um, it, the flavors are there. A lot of it's the same, but it's subtly different. Um, I have a set of Philips Fidelio X2 HRs, and I quite like those. Very wide sound stage. Um, much different from these, um, I think. Let's see. Not as bassy as these, I think. Um, and um, more comfortable, too. These can be hot after a while. All right, let's grab... An old iPod. Let's see music. We'll play something that maybe we've got sound. Me listening. We got sound, so I think it works. Yeah, all right. Let me stop that before I get copyright strikes. We'll put the rest of the screws back in it. Let me make sure about this. I don't think I got this wire in here great. I just kind of shoved it around. There's another mod you can do these where you take out this built-in cable and put in a jack and have a detachable cable like more modern headphones have. Um, you know, well, not Bluetooth, but uh, I think I've seen someone mod these with Bluetooth before, but really you could get something like a Theo, uh, what's that? They have that little nugget that's like a Bluetooth transmitter, receiver, or something. It turns any headphone into Bluetooth headphones. Um, but it's, uh, I forget what it's called, though. The H, I'll put a link or something. I'll put it right here. Hey, future me, stick an image of the Theo nugget, Bluetooth nugget. I don't know what to call it or what else to call it, but uh, it turns any headphones into Bluetooth headphones if you've happen to have a current phone that doesn't do that. I don't really listen to much music on my phone, to be honest. Um, uh, I have a couple of headphone amps and um, a couple of um, uh, media players. I, use, I actually still use that iPod. This is, uh, I tell you, I should do a video on like why I like iPods, but old iPods. But um, I also have uh, one of these, it's a Sony Walkman, uh, it plays flax and stuff and takes an SD card, um, and those are great too. Um, the nice thing about the Sony doodad there is it does have Bluetooth and all the kind of modern accoutrement that the iPod lacks, but the interface I don't think is nice. The Apple really did a good job on that, I will give them that. Um, Apple did do a good job on the iPod interface. The only problem is, is it just plays uh, MP3s, and that's all I use it for these days. You know, it'll play <clears throat> Apple's proprietary lossless. Well, I guess it's technically not proprietary anymore. They open sourced it, but um, music format ALAC. But 
not flack, not without rock boxing it. And then you're losing the iPod interface, which is um, why you want them. So, yeah. And, you know, these things you can get, this is a fourth gen, you can get on eBay for a song, and well, you used to, <clears throat> thanks to Mr. Dank Pods, Mr. Pods of Dank now, I think largely uh, you cannot get them for that cheap anymore. And stick a new battery in them, stick a flash card, um, <clears throat> an iFlash in them, and be good to go. And they work in Linux. I actually don't use that with a Mac. I use that with my Linux machine. Um, Rockbox will sync it right over. Um, we'll sync stuff right over to it. It works great. Um, yeah. Something quite like the interface. I do like the functionality of the Walkman. This is a 45A NW, I forget the number, it's the 40 series. Um, but not, you know, it's the typical Sony um, uh, alphabet soup of naming conventions. So it's, you know, something NW 45A or something like that. But I think they're up to the 50 series now. But there's an, uh, you know, has a built-in FM radio, which works okay. One thing I don't like about the Sony is, maybe I'll do a video about this, they, they're using a proprietary jack just like Apple. It is USB 3 based, though, so it is a lot faster. But um, no bueno. It's 2020, guys. Get some USB-C going on there. All right. So I think we're done here. And uh, this looks really... Really good. Well, we're almost done. This is going to be the struggle part. I swear, these are great pads. These are worth it. Many hours later, that one's on. They are the brainwaves pads are much harder to install than the stock ones. But uh, what are you gonna do? Okay, sometime later. Maybe. Oh, oh, nope. All right, I think that's got them. Yes, okay. So, here we have it. They're back in business. Like I said, I would I would have kept these new cups. They do look better, but um, that's a lie. These are not 7506s. So, uh, but otherwise, the headband is identical to the uh, clapped out one I just replaced. So, uh, hopefully, if I get another 15 years out of this headband, I'll consider myself happy. But uh, let me know if this is the type of video you like to see. Um, complain about my soldering skills down below. Keep in mind, it's always harder on camera. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'm going to go enjoy my new headphones that have a lot less sads than this do. This has got some serious sads going on. So, all right. Bye. Bye.